At the end of the day, I'm doing what feels right for me and chasing down my dream. Like team media day kind of. So what is Media Day? Essentially, the team just wants to collect a bunch of photos and videos of the players, do an Instagram, and all other kind of fun stuff. Stuff kind of like this. Now, if you missed the last vlog, take a look. Travis Richardson came in cold off the bench. Had to protect the lead. Let in a couple goals. He admitted pregame he was a little shaky, but you know, settled in and he did. He looked good, made a couple of big saves, and helped get his first win of his professional career here with the Rockers. Nothing short of a heroic effort. Late in the game, they had to kill a five on three. It turned into a six on three because Watertown pulled their goaltender late in Watertown. It was a seven six win. So, on Saturday's game, uh, my connect skates they exploded. The buckle came off. So, like this buckle, like mid game, it literally exploded. So uh, Bauer sent some new kind of clips, and he's going to put them on. And then get back to work to making some improvements on that last one. Now you may be asking, what exactly did we work on trying to improve? Well, goalie coach Bill and I, we're always cooking up something in the kitchen, and today was no different. We're working on blocking and getting hit without sacrificing active hands. And this is what that looks like. I just want to say that in the locker room of the fellas, I've been taking an absolute verbal assaulting for my love for pumpkin spice lattes, but, and I regret nothing. I just wanted to let everybody know that. So Saturday's win was really exciting. I think that although we came back and we ended up winning the game in an absolute shootout 7-6, there's still a lot of problems. I think in my game, coming from the European game to the North American game, where I need to up my game to stay on top of it so that when I do get an opportunity to get my first real start, I'm gonna be ready and help the team win, so. Now today we had a little bit of a surprise. This right here is Rob Lalonde. You may know him as Rob from Butt Ends. He's one of my best friends and has been for years. And he actually carved out a pretty nice pro career playing for the Toronto Marlies, Reading Royals, and a few more other teams after finishing four years of NCAA D1 at Merrimack. But I haven't seen him in almost three years. And he was in the Detroit area, so he decided to swing by and hang out for a week with my team here in Motor City. Now I know you're asking, why is Rob in the room? After retiring, Rob started a company called Ends. They are grips for the shaft your stick, and more recently he started doing blade grips as well. Now I'm going to be honest, we don't pay for a lot of stuff at this level, it's mostly all covered by the team, but if I was, butt ends are more cost effective than tape, I love the feel, and I've been using them since 2016 and I would not use anything else. They're also pretty durable, and I just like putting them on and not having to worry about them again until my stick breaks. Rob's hooking up all the fellas, we're getting dialed in for our series upcoming this weekend against Port Huron, and after Rob got everybody dialed in, it was time for practice. I did it all for the nookie, so you can pick that cookie. Who's go Chav sucks. Now we usually start practice off with a couple warm-up drills. After that, goalie coach Bill and I were talking about goalie stuff when I realized mid-conversation that my stick was broke. And, but it wasn't totally broke, so I said, you know what, Bill, I'm going to totally break it. And it was after this that Bill reminded me, this is why they don't give me nice things in Motor City. Because I break everything. What ends? So after practice, I was trying to work on some reverse things. To be honest with you, the way that I've been playing some things and some situations in Sweden in the last two years is not going to fly here in North America. So Bill and I are trying our best to find a happy medium that's going to work for me and produce results because whether you want to believe it or not, the European game compared to the North American game is very different. Now by the end of the skate, we had maybe four or five guys left on the ice, so Rob decided to throw on his jets, lace them up, come shoot. 
And I probably should have told them you're not allowed on the ice. Cause... After that, we grabbed lunch, we caught up. Even though I haven't seen Rob in almost three years, he, although he's 40, he still hasn't aged one bit. The dude looks like he's not a day over 30. It's kind of crazy how young he looks. But anyway, uh, next day was game day. And for pregame meal, Rob and I decided to crush a whole rotisserie chicken and veggies outside of Kruger in this McDonald's parking lot. And after that, it was off to the game for game time. Now, our home game has been pretty exciting so far, to be honest with you. I think that we had almost a 1,000 people for a home opener. This is going to be our second home game. And right here, Rob is picking up some tickets that I left for him at the ticketing office. Now, tonight, we are playing the Port Huron Prowlers. Now, as usual, I was backing up tonight and Babs was starting. Babs makes 40 plus saves as he always does. We won 6 2 to defeat Port Huron, but to be honest, we probably shouldn't have won that game, but he kept us in the game. He was lights out as he always is. But to be honest, Babs is an SP goalie. I don't know why he's not in the SP, but he wins his games and he stands on his head every night. And it is a privilege to be his goalie partner, watching him do it every single day. With that being said, I want to say thank you so much for watching. If you want to pick up a button in this grip, the same ones that I've been using since 2016 and the guys on our team use, you can use the code TRAVSUCKS for 10% off your order. And if you want more Rob Lalonde, he is a part-time co-host on my podcast, Sling the Biscuit, where I share all the dirt on what's really happening in the Fed and all the minor pro. And you can listen to this 45-minute weekly podcast on Spotify, Apple, and the video version here on YouTube. New episodes every Sunday, and there are links to all of this in the video description. I also want to remind you, I do new vlogs just like this every Sunday as well, right here on YouTube. So hit the subscribe button for more. And I'll see you next time.